Hey guys, Alex here, AG Automotive, and welcome back to another one. Now behind me today, we have the 2021 Chevrolet Silverado 1500, and this is the premium model, the Z71. So, what do you guys reckon? It's awesome, it's humongous this car, it's massive. All right, so before we get into it, I just want to do a shout out to GMSV Central Coast, who were nice enough to let me have a look at this vehicle today. All right, so we start at the front end. Obviously quite shiny face and a massive grill. Everyone's making big grills now, so why not Chevy join in as well? So it looks quite chunky at the front here, quite sort of muscly. Obviously you've got the big Chevrolet dash there and this massive chrome grille and you've got your sensors that go along the front there the driving lights and tow hooks as well and the headlights actually look like quite nice actually they suit the front end very nicely and i like things like the 6.2 liter badges on the bonnet that was awesome shows people that you got a bit of power under the bottom all right so what do you guys reckon drop me a comment so the wheels on the Silverado are 20 inch wheels and they stand out like nothing else. They do a really good job, chrome looking, and they run on Bridgestone tyres and because this is a four wheel drive as well, uh, it's a light sort of off-road tyre so it's good for on-road and a little bit of off-road. So uh, very cool. Let's so have a look at the side step down here. There's all the way to the back. That is humongous. Look at the tray, even bigger. So we come around to the back here. You've got the Chevrolet logo embossed into the back there. There's your camera there as well. Further down, you have your chrome bumper with You have your chrome bumper with the, I've just forgotten. So you got your chrome bumper down here with the sensors in it and the exhaust there as well. And there's some reversing lights there too. You've also got little corner steps so you can step up into it, into the tray if you want. So, speaking of the tray, I'll just push this button. It's automatic open, guys. So check the bed liner in this thing. Check out the back of this. This is huge, I reckon I could nearly sleep in this. I love the Chev badge right at the front there, that's awesome. And then you've got the uh, window that opens at the back there. And it's a spray-on liner as well, which is really good sort of for good good protection and it does fit a full-size Australian pallet in here as well and when you close it it's actually quite light to lift it and I will also show you too you can close open it from the remote if you need to uh, put things in and you've got your hands full or you can get it to your keys so I'm um, again Pretty, uh, pretty awesome. All right, guys, let's go and check out what's inside. All right, guys, let me look inside the Silverado. So, have a look at the doors. <laughs> Huge. 
So you got your window and mirror switches there as well. You've got memory seats and dual unlock and unlock. Nice piece of wooden trim there. And you got massive amounts of cup holders in there as well. So we have a look in here, the Silverado mat there. Got the full leather seats. Sunroof up there. There's the gear stick there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. You have a look at the hole. Have a look at this. This is humongous. Just have a look at it. <laughs> All right, let's jump in and have a look. All right. Whoa, the verbal. Love that verbal of the uh, of the engine. Sounds awesome. So that there's all your gauges there. All right, so on this side, this is your four-wheel drive mode there. You can have an auto, four-wheel drive, high, low, or two-wheel. And you can put that for, as you can see, sport, off-road, or normal. We'll just have it on sport for now. Obviously, you got your auto there. You can see in the top there, it says automatic, four-wheel drive shift in progress, or you can go to two-wheel drive, and or you can do four wheel drive high low you also got a light in the back and you have your headlight controls there as well as well as a vent all built in so you got this interesting stalk here now this is your gear stick so if you put your foot in the brake put it into reverse you can see the front or the back and you've got a variety of options there as well, which we'll go into in just a minute. All right, so you've got your park brake is actually located down here. As you can see, it's on there. Or if I push it and turn off, just leave that on for a minute. Now, the steering wheel, Chevy steering wheel. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's not a bad, nice sort of laid out one. There's your cruise control buttons there and your audio controls on that side there. You do have your indicator and wipers all in the one stalk as that one has the gear selector. You can actually select. Again, um, you've got your bonnet release just under there. All right, so this side we have the, you can adjust your headlight height. Up here you have I don't know if you can see the head-up display. It's sort of difficult to tell with the camera, but it is there. There's a head-up display there. It's pretty cool. You've got info there as well. Uh, a few different things you can bring up on there if you like, and you've got the brightness there as well. This engine start, stop button. Move over here. You got nice. I like it how they've done this. It's nice leather on here. It's another pocket there, by the way. Humongous. Like I said, this car's huge. It's got full of pockets. That's the head-up display. Comes out of there. All right. So we've got. We go. We've got uh, audio, which we're in. We've got phone, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Obviously, users as well. You can uh, create a user for that if you like. If you have two or three people driving the car. You've got settings, you've got a, a variety of different things for your apps, for your vehicle, remote lock, lock and start. So you can uh, change a few bits and pieces there as well. So that's pretty cool. Just go back to that. Now, as you can see, Apple CarPlay Android Auto, you've got trailering, which is quite an interesting one. We don't have a trailer on the back, at the moment obviously but don't have a trail on the back but you have different uh, things that you can set up as well accessories no trailer add a trailer profile a guest trailer one no trailer connected and you've got a whole heap of bits and pieces there connections maintenance cameras you got all sorts of cameras we'll go and look at that now so if we go into camera now check this out you can see what's in the back in the bed liner <laughs> you can see where the tow bar is if we go out of that you can actually see forwards or reverse or you can have 
at the back, at the front. You can see it from that view. You can see it from that view as well if you want, or you can have a full 360 degree view if you like. So it just depends on what you want on there. We could leave it like that on the front or the back and have it like that. You can put the lines on there as well, or the trailer line as you can see there. So there is some pretty cool stuff you can do with this car actually. And um, yeah, there's all different ones that you can have. You can actually have all sorts of, yeah, this, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So we'll just go back to the home there. So again, it's pretty straightforward here as well. We'll just leave it on that one. Now you do have the radio there, controls, you got your back. You can go scroll up for um, stations or if you're playing a from a USB or whatever. You've also got a manual knob there as well. Further down, you do have dual zone climate control there. Obviously your fan speed and bits and pieces there as well. All right, so we've got a few buttons down below here. Obviously, a few of your safety features there, like lane departure warning. You've got your parking assist there. You can turn them on and off. Your auto start stop. You've got a tailgate button here, which you can actually move the tailgate down yourself. I'll just show you that. So we just can see on the screen. So there you go. The tailgate goes down and you can bring it back up as well so you just got to hold that button down until it's all the way closed that is a pretty awesome feature to be honest and then further down you have your further across you've got hazard light there you've got traction control there you've got plugging in so you can plug things in turn that on or off and you got your hill descent control as well which works really well down here you've got a 12 volt plug you have usb and fast charger there you do have your trailer brake set up there you can actually set that up when the trailer's on now further down you have a wireless phone charger there another pocket space there you've got pockets for drinks there and you've got a little bit of pocket space in the middle another phone holder there and more cup holders there as well so what have we got in here right a huge amount of room wow <laughs> so you've got an SD card slot there you've got a USB auxiliary and a fast charger there as well so very very spacious if you have a look I'm six foot one and I've got humongous amounts of space. So again, we've got the Okay, we've got the sunroof here. Alright, so we've got the sunroof here. As you can see, the slide button. See that slide there? And we'll close that back up again or you can tilt it if you want to which is uh, pretty cool we also have this button in the middle here now check this out so you can open that back window with just the pull of a switch that's awesome <laughs> very very cool all right why don't we jump in the back and see what the back is like huge doors <laughs> it's got a nice little bit of uh, wood grain there again pockets pockets and have a look at the space in the back this is humongous honestly and look at that more space as if you did well, had didn't have enough space check that out <laughs> all right let's jump in and have a look in the back wow now if you have a look at this look at me like i've got massive amounts of headroom here and there's even an indent in the roof so plenty of space for three adults here you've also got 
more cup holders and more storage room as if you didn't need enough so and behind the cup holders you have seat heaters for the passengers <laughs> rear passengers now that is a cool thing maybe cooling seats for Australian conditions if you're listening Chev that would be something you could add to maybe next year's model you do have a 12 volt adapter, a USB and a fast charger as well. So again, pretty cool and pocket space. And as you can see, knee room and foot room, I've got massive amounts. I could nearly walk around in here. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I still can't get over that. Check that out again. <laughs> There's your uh, ISO fix spots there as well. Um, but yeah guys, it's very very roomy in here as you can see I've got massive amounts of space and I've got massive amounts of room In here as well. So um, as you can see it's uh, It's pretty cool Very very awesome All right guys, let's go and have a look what's under the bonnet All right guys, let me a look under the bonnet of the Silverado so the Silverado runs a 6.2 litre V8 petrol engine and it produces 313 kilowatts of power and 624 newton metres of torque and that's mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission and it can tow up to 4.5 tonnes and it is four wheel drive as well. Alright guys, let's go for a drive. Alright guys, just going to go for a little drive in the Silverado to see what I think. So first impressions getting into these seats, first impressions is the amount of space in this seat, it is absolutely massive. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's very, um, it's very, very spacious. So the seats, so the seats are not too bad, they're reasonably flat, they've got a little bit of support but not a lot. Other than that, they're pretty comfy. So vision out the front is great. You've got the head-up display there and the mirror doesn't get in the way too much. Vision out the back is pretty good for a ute, a massive ute. Uh, vision out the sides is really, really good and out the back there as well. And, you know, you've got the sunroof there. That's another, another nice thing. And you've got your cameras all around as well. So you can sort of gauge it with that. So when you put your foot down, you get a bit of uh, manly noise. <laughs> get that grunt, which is uh, pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, it's very, 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 very manly, this car. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's got masses of room, seats, masses of people. It seems to, uh, yeah, it's it's just nice. And you can just cruise along. We're just cruising along at 60 now. And you know what? It's really nice and it's not that loud in here. Obviously, you know, if you're going to overtake people, you've got that exhaust there. And that's a um, HSV exhaust as well on this. So uh, it sort of makes it, you know, sound cool and look beefy, so. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice. So yeah, guys, um, you've got a lot of tech in here. Obviously, things like your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You've got the uh, a whole heap of USBs. You've got the trailer sway control. You've got cameras everywhere. You've got phone slots everywhere. There's a, char a wireless charger down there and another phone slot there things like memory seats for two different people it uh, it just is it's very very um yeah just really nice and when you slow down a little burble of the exhaust it sort of changes gear so um yeah it sounds sounds awesome so yeah guys dual zone climate control uh you know it's yeah there's, there's a humongous amount of room everywhere <laughs> Just that that uh, sound alone just sort of does it. You know, I'd love one of these. Now, is it hard to park or is it hard to um, maneuver around town? Well, 
I'm in a town at the moment and there's a bit of traffic around and you know what it's not actually too bad it's um actually quite nice stays in the lane okay obviously you got a few things there like lane departure warning uh, blind spot monitoring things like that so it does um it does feel nice on the road it doesn't the steering itself you know a little bit harder I suppose on it because you got those big chunky wheels there so um and tires so yeah look it will be a little bit more you know a little bit heavier on the on the steering but other than that it just cruises you can cruise around with it it's um really nice I think the only one of the things I'd have to get used to myself is this gear stick here so yeah other than that guys it's um yeah it's um it is quite nice so actually you know what I'm going to do I'm just gonna go up here and I'm just going to see if I can park next to somebody and we're just going to go into here and I'm just going to show you about parking so we'll just park next to, next to this car here it's pretty easy to park really it overshadows a lot of cars but uh, it's pretty easy to park just go into reverse and we'll come back out now uh, you've got your cameras there your sensors your mirrors are quite big anyway so all right so yeah guys look other than that it's um it's quite a nice machine actually that Chevy's made and I just love that sound like can't get enough of that sound guys I really can't so um it's uh, yeah it just it drives very nicely at the moment I've got it in sport mode but it it just um it just feels really nice on the road I, I want one honestly they are um, awesome cars and I'm not just saying that this it just feels really cool like king of the road type thing this uh, this ute does yeah wow <laughs> wow the big 6.2 litre just um, surges ahead it really does very very um, very nice all right guys well um thanks for that and if i missed anything and any of you can want to elaborate on anything let me know <laughs> but uh look guys i was i'm pretty impressed by it like i said a couple of things like the gear selector i'd have to get used to the handbrake on this side uh and it's got the full drive controls which are okay um you know using them on this side and uh yeah look you've got the trailering mode and stuff where you've got all sorts of um, bits and pieces on the screen that you can uh, you can adjust some of them yeah there's, there's quite a lot of tech on this car too so for the money yeah guys all right well thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on the next one see you guys